Hi guys, okay, today we're going to look at expected number. So we use probability to try and foresee how many people or how many things are actually going to be in a certain set. So let's have an example. Let's say that we've got 0.6%, 6, 0.6% is 0.6 is the probability that year 12s are engaging with online work. Okay, so we've been given a probability of 0 0.6. So if I've got, how many have I got? 52 students. So in MCL's class, is there are 52 year 12 students. How many are engaging? Pretty easy. So all we have to do is take our probability. So it's probability times number. So that equals 0 0.6 times 52. So I'll have to get my calculator to work out. Just because my brain's a bit numb like the rest of you. 52 times 0.6 is 31.2. All right, so 31.2 is in a person. And I'm talking about how many students, so I need to just change that. It will be 31.2 on average out of 52 kids, but we're not averaging. It's a specific number of 52. So therefore, it's got to be 31 or 32. So what I mean by that is if I say in any group of 52, then on average, it would be 31.2. But I have a specific group, my kids here, of 52 kids. Therefore, 31 or 32 students are engaging with online lessons, which, believe it or not, is around about right. So that's one type of question we can have. You need to pause and copy that one down now because I'm going on to the second type of question. So the second type of question is where we have different things. So The one in the book I'm going to do, which is the expected number of lambs. Per sheep. All right, so a farmer's done a little survey and he knows that the probability of getting one lamb two lambs, three lambs, and four lambs, all right, this is the number of lambs per sheep, is 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 0 0.07, and 0 0.03. Now that line there should always add up to one, so that's 0 0.1, 0 0.1 is 0 0.2, and 0 0.8 is 0 0.1, so that equals one. Everything's taken into consideration. So we have to work out for so for a group of 20 sheep, what is the expected number of lambs? So what we have to work out first is some sort of average out of this. So we expect, so what we call this as an average, we write this as an E of X, we expect it to be one lot of 0 0.8, two point one of the time, three, that's not three, 3.07 of the time, and four, 
0.03 of the time. So we need to find out what that average for each sheep is. So we put in our calculator, 1 times 0.8 plus 2 times 0.1 plus 3 times 0.07 plus 4 times 0.03 equals 1.33. So on average per sheep, there will be 1.33 lambs. So to find out for 20 sheep, we've got to do 20 times 1.33 equals 26.6 on average. Or 26 or 27 from a group. Alright, so you need to read the question to find out whether they're talking about a specific group or whether they're talking about if we continue to take 20 sheep, how many would we expect? Then we'd expect if we averaged out all our groups of 20, 26.6. Okay, time to do some work now. And we'll see you later.